I know that a lot of you have some fear about the Bitcoin. In today's episode, I'm going to break down Bitcoin using technical analysis and some fundamental analysis. And I got some really bad news for the Bitcoin and stay tuned to listen this, my opinion in this condition, I would say, which one I really very uh, listen for every time when it's there, there's a such kind of condition. So end of this video, you will have a clear understanding towards what's going on on the market. So before we jump into the market. I want to you mentioned that one that I was predicting the market exactly to that scenario, which one you are seeing here. This is the proof this on my telegram channel, the link in the description below, you can jump there because I'm giving the first signals over uh, there. So you you won't miss this all opportunities to trade it, right. So basically, exactly here, as you remember this movement, right, and I will open the charts and market moved exactly in that way. Yes, we didn't touch the zone of high attention yet. But exactly in today's episode, I'm going to use uh, some technical analysis and show you which direction most likely going to go and in which cases we're going to see some maybe reversal on the Bitcoin. So uh, let's go right now. And what you are seeing here, we saw some five impulsive wave structure after we saw some kind of correction. And after the correction, I was expecting uh, this dump, which one exactly happened. So actually here you can take a Fibonacci put on the beginning and the end of this impulse, right? And you can see that how clearly and how many times my all the subscribers knows that every time when I'm saying that 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is the zone of high attention. So here you can see this box. Every, uh, after that, we had some correction, right? We hit the almost 0 0.5, right? So basically from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 was the correction, right? And that zone of high attention exactly worked out. And after that, the ma massively we had some kind of correction. So basically you could trade and earn some really good money on this movement. So basically right now I am scalping trading uh, and maybe I will talk a little bit slowly because I got to control my positions as well and give me the signals for my community as well. And I highly suggest you to jump in our Telegram channel. And plus, we have some really good things in the first link description below is the Binks. There's where you can register and jump in my free mentorship program. Yes, it's all for free. We got the chat live chat. You can ask me the questions. We communicate together and etc, etc, etc. It's really great deal for you. So basically, uh, what is the really bad news for the Bitcoin? And right now, guys, buckle up because this information is a very very bearish I would say on the Bitcoin and it's very likely that we're gonna see some kind of downtrend on the Bitcoins for so for that uh, let me clean this scenario we don't need it anymore and exactly we're gonna break down this scenario as well because there is some uh, movement that there's possible that we go much lower. So how it's going to happen? First of all, let's open the daily time frame and there happened something really incredibly uh, bad news. I would say it's bad some things, right? Uh, but uh, still, it doesn't mean that 100% is going to go like that. Uh, you do the proper risk management when it comes to financial decisions, right? So here, what we are seeing right now, I'm going to educate you a little bit in the technical analysis that you have a clear understanding of what I mean. First of all, what we are seeing here, we are seeing that we had the massive downtrend. Here, I was saying exactly that we're going to see some kind of fall, right? And why? Because basically, we were saying that uh, the MACD show, shows us some divergence over there, right? On a five, a five hour time frame, I guess, right? And here, I was calling already that we're going to see some reversal. So actually, it happens and our targets for now is what? Uh, so before the bad news, you need to know this information as well. Here, if you uh, take a waves, you're going to break down these waves like this. Here's the wave one, two, three, four and five. So basically this dump I was calling exactly that wave four. And as you can see, the wave four has its own levels. I mark it. So if we're going to take a Fibonacci put on the beginning and the end of the wave three, we measure wave three to understand where's the targets for wave four, right? Or Oops, that's not wrong. That's a wrong. That's a wrong scenario. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's not uh, happened here. It's happened over here. So b before we are in the high time frame, we need to know a little bit on a smaller time frame. So uh, basically, here's the wave one, two, right, three, four, and five. So this scenario I was expecting. So if we take a Fibonacci put on the beginning and the end of the wave three, right, exactly here, you can see that uh, which zones I was marked over here. So, uh, that from point three to point seven. This is the zone of high attention, as I mentioned every time the Bitcoin comes to these targets. And after that, we are, we are seeing some kind of bounce, right? So 
uh, we didn't touch that level yet and that's the why the, it's very bad news for the Bitcoin right now because uh, basically a lot of people are expecting that the Bitcoin gonna finish dump exactly here right and after that we are uh, we will go massively uptrend but uh, stop guys because that's not true there is some possibility that we'll go much more lower because we didn't retest the 0.3 at least right and usually pi uh, price comes to 0.5 to 0.6 so this is where I'm expecting some kind of uh, correction to be finished so uh, one more thing what I want to mention that uh, why this is still is way for and why I think that uh, the you know, pump is not yet happened yes it's possible everything is can happen on the market right because uh, this is the markets but um, the technical analysis and conditions which I'm using right now it's most likely gonna happen for sure right so here what we are seeing we are seeing uh, some uh, can I'm gonna do the candle analysis and I'm gonna uh, educate you in something very very important so basically those two candles are we are interesting about and why first of all as you can see this red candle over here this is the green MPI combination especially this candle is one three it's a very bearish candle because we can see the trend is downtrend plus it has the um, the most uh, high splash of volumes here right uh, in this downtrend and plus you can see that uh, the market was falling right and basically uh, volumes was followed by that so basically the trends is downtrend over here right and this candle we can call it as a green MFI combination green right when we are seeing that candle of this range full of this candle is bigger than previous one right and plus it has more volumes than in previous candle right so this is called MFI can, uh, MFI green every time when we are seeing such kind of candle most likely there will be the continuation of this uh, movement and why I think so and why still this candle is solid first of all yes you are seeing that this green candle almost overshadowed it so basically this is uh, looks actually bullish here but um, I would stop you here because this is not looks bullish at all because next candle next candle this green candle as you can see this candle is also actually bigger than previous one right as you can see we almost eat this whole impulse right but uh, this is what is the most important information this candle called fake mfi fake this is a time when the brokers have enough money to push for a uh, push uh, market in a uh, different direction so exactly uh, opposite direction in our cases right here you can see uh, because uh, Actually, this candle is telling us that we're gonna see the continuation of the trend, but suddenly the market starts to reverse and go a different um, angle, but a different uh, way. But here's what is very important. This candle is bigger than previous one, but it's for some reason has a less volumes than in previous one. So this MFI combination called fake. Every time when you are seeing MFI fake, when the candle is a bigger than previous one, but it has less volumes than the previous one, right? In uh, um, in our cases, as you can see, this is uh, indicates us that someone is manipulating the price. And every time when you are seeing them manipulating, I mean, such kind of candle as MFI fake, you can see and you can meet them where in exactly in a wave four and because the wave four is the most manipulative wave and there's happening the most uh, highest amount of the manipulation so this is why you can see such kind of formation so this is why every time when we are seeing the MFI fake we take it skeptically right and we not trade that opposite direction so this is why I don't open any long positions right now I still feel that uh, markets on the higher time frame as a daily time frame right looks bearish and it, there is a possibility that we go much more lower so in which case this scenario will be completely um completely wrong in the case if this candle gonna uh, go right now higher right and we're gonna see that the candle will be bigger than previous one and it will have more volumes than the previous one and it will create the green candle right mfi combination green but in our cases we are seeing that this is a mfi fake and we need to be careful when we are seeing such kind of candle so there is some possibility that's the bad news that we are very likely to fall i'm not saying 100 but there is uh, some signs that we're gonna go lower so basically a lot of people saw 
thought that here is the green candle and it's good time to open the position short. And basically, yes, if you are using the good stop loss, because every time when you are in a way four, uh, expect some manipulations. Every time it's going to happen, some manipulation, some uh, wish out, everything is happening exactly on the way four. So be careful. So if you are trading right now short, put your stop loss a little bit higher, right? It's really uh, great suggestions from me. So uh, our targets for the first targets, yes, it's possible that we are in a higher time frame, which one I started actually to break down this, I was making a mistake, right? It is possible that here it looks like this, wave one, two, right? Right now we need three, after gonna be much more deeper wave four. This is also very possible, but before it happens something on the higher time frame, we need to see confirmation on a smaller time frame. So we need to see exactly here, we can see five impulsive wave structure, right? And we need to uh, trade this five impulsive wave structure. And only after that, if we're gonna fall even more deeper than 0.7, so exactly if we're gonna go lower than here, right? That's gonna be confirmation that there is some, uh, happening something more on the high time frame, and that's gonna be our confirmation to that the price gonna go much more lower rather than this one. This is how the technical analysis works. This is how we're gonna trade. But as we're gonna enter into this zone of high attention here, if there will be formation of some kind of reversal, right? Something uh, such kind of, right? And we're gonna see some extreme candles by MVI combinations, all of the things which I'm talking right now, I get free educational videos, the links in the description below. First of all is candle analysis and the second one is the MVI combinations. Those two are very, very strong indicators, which one is very, very good to use in a trading, so I highly suggest you to do so. So here, what we are seeing actually, uh, we are seeing that there is some possibility that we will go much more lower, and this is what I want to inform you. That really looks bad for bulls, right? So be careful when you are trading in a way four. But uh, on the higher time frame, I don't suggest you to buy Bitcoin right now in investment perspective because we, if we are going, uh, if there will be some buyouts, at least we need to do from uh, point uh, like fifty nine thousand dollar like something like this right and there maybe you can accumulate some uh, some, uh, some part of the Bitcoin that's that's what I would suggest you right uh, one more thing what I want to mention uh, if you have any question if you like my analysis if you like the way I look at the market I highly suggest you to subscribe to this channel press that likes because it motivates me to create for you crazy cool content and plus jump in our telegram channel there I'm giving the free signals for you in uh, and plus you have opportunity to join my free mentorship program which one you can register in of Bing's links, the first links in description, right? And um, join my group. There's where we trade. There's the chat is open. You can personally chat with me, ask any questions, whatever you need, and etc. 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 Just don't forget to uh, uh, send me in DM me when you are will be already registered in that uh, exchange, right? This is where I trade personally. So if you like my analysis, subscribe to the channel, press uh, likes. This is why I think about the market. For all of these people who already subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. It motivates me a lot, right? Right now I'm out of the position and I'm still calling that there is possibility that we will go much more lower. So trade very, very carefully. This is uh, a very some, some tricky time on the Bitcoin, right? And be careful. Uh, do the proper risk management when it comes to the trading. So these daily time frames uh, indicate what I wanted to show you. This fake candle. Don't uh, trust this candle, this gr green candle. This is not the green candle MFI combinations. Uh, learn the MFI combinations in my um, videos as well. The links will be in the description below. And and, uh, be careful when you are trading in wave four. Thank you so uh, for watching. Thank you for supporting me, pressing that like, joining this Telegram channel. We are growing and this is, makes me really very happy. Uh, see you in the next. Catch you somewhere here and bye bye.